Hey guys, welcome back to Say What Reacts. We're back again with another DPR Ian reaction for you guys. Yay! I am so excited. Yas. Um, because this is our part two of our dive into DPR with RJ. Um, yeah, so. I really like this song. I'm obsessed with this song. I've told you it's my favorite. Like, the more that you're playing it now, I like it's It's very moody. It's oh, it's the best. It's yeah. so good. Anyway, okay. We're talking about nerves, clearly, because that's what's playing in the background right now. Um, but yeah, my favorite song by him. But anyway, um, so in this reaction, we will be checking out No Blueberries, Welcome to the Show, and Scaredy Cat. Um, we are reacting to these in the order that they were released, except I switched No Blueberries and Nerves, whatever. But so the first up is No Blueberries. Now, RJ <laughs> has heard this song. Uh, but that's really kind of it, I think. So, yeah. Yeah. I like... Why am I yawning? You started this. I'm so <laughs> blaming you. Oh, my God. Okay. Anyway, no more yawning. It's not even late. It's not even late to be yawning. Like, what the oh, fuck? Oh, yeah, true. Um, anyway. So, this is picking up, remember, after... Um, so Beautiful. So Beautiful, where, like, he picks up the gun, and mm. then that's, like, kind of... Then you start hearing the kind of the melody of No Blueberries playing in the background. And that At was the in end black of, and white, too. It was in black and white, that moment, mm -hmm, okay. for sure. So, we are picking up where that kind of left off. And let's put this on the screen for you guys. So, we have this. And pause warning above RJ's head because 100% I will be pausing. If you do not like pausing, you might as well just not watch this. It's okay. No hard feelings. But it is, it is happening because uh, uh, he puts a lot of shit into his videos. And I am 100% going to make sure RJ doesn't miss any of it. And hell, I might even still catch things that I missed previously. You never know. So, um, yeah. Are you ready? This is a really cool image. Mm-hmm. I can't it tell is. if we're about to zoom into this diner or if this is just an actual, like... Image on a wall? Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Oh, he looked a little bit like Xiao Jun there. Like Xiao Jun? Yeah. Really? Yeah, go back. Because in, in the mirror. For like a, a split second, maybe. Maybe. At a particular angle. Maybe. <laughs> I'm like, Xiao Jun, really? I kind of saw what you what you said for like two seconds. For like, like two seconds. Not even like two seconds. Like maybe but then after second. that, you're like, no. Nah. No. No. no, no. <laughs> no. Every time I see doors now. That's deep here, like, by the way. I think that's deep on the left. Too. That's deep here, like, yeah. This is so me, by the way. I hate blueberries. <laughs> you hate blueberries? I don't like, I'm, look, you wouldn't think, but I'm very picky when it comes to food. Like, I don't like blueberries, I don't like raspberries, I don't like cherries, unless it's cherry flavored things. I don't like blackberries, I don't like kiwis, I don't like honeydew, I don't like cantaloupe, I don't like pineapple. I don't, I'm so I wish I liked Listen, all of it. Look, I was gonna, I was behind you on all the rest of that stuff until you got to the pineapple part. I want to like it, pineapple smells so good. I want to like pineapple. Why don't you like it? I just don't like, and I've even tried it recently because you know your taste buds. They say it changes after like every seven years or some shit. Oh, I've I even tried it that. recently and I still didn't like it. I'm so sad because it smells so good. I love the way it smells. Damn, that's, I know it makes me sad actually yeah <laughs> it, it does suck for me I like your like your basic ass like basic fruit, fruits fruits like apples and bananas and uh strawberries and grapes I mean it's really good for you though I I, I love all those but fruits. I don't like raspberries I don't like blackberries I'm yeah. I get you on that yeah the rest I'm sorry I can't yeah sorry anyway let's continue yes. that was a very random conversation <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just flicking you just them off. Just gently sit them down. <laughs> Why the aggressive flick? I can probably take off the lyrics on this one because I don't think that's going to help us. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm realizing things as I'm watching oh, okay. this because that's another thing I like. I said I never really got a chance to really break down some of his music videos with him mm -hmm. um, in the interview that I did with him. So I, I, one of the things I did mention briefly, I was like, "No blueberries." I said I'm still kind of like confused as to what's happening in that video, and he kind of like he kind of laughed, and then I, I, was, I was like, "Like who is that?" And then he went to say something. He goes, "Wait, let's let's continue." And then so we continued with the conversation we were on during the interview. But we never circled back around to it. So I never got a chance to ask or confirm, I should say, my thoughts on this character. This looks like some, like, gross human form of a blueberry. The coloration why, of, like, his skin, it makes a sense. Why are we both what having eyeball my... problems? <laughs> when we're watching him, though. <laughs> well, particularly <laughs> while we're watching him. Because earlier I was, like, looking left and right and blinking and stuff like that. Like, what the hell is going on? He's, yeah. he's affecting our... our... Our psyche is that not and supposed to be what this is? This looks like some blueberry creature. Man, I need to. I, 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 hey, Christian, <laughs> would, you, would you like to grant me a second interview where I can break down your music videos with you? That'd be great. Also, hi. <laughs> Look, that's even if he's watching. That would be great if he's watching, but he may not be. I don't know. He's a busy man. I forgot how much I like this song. <laughs> Do you hear that in the back? I, I, I love his little sound. It's funny I heard it, but it didn't even like I didn't it didn't click in my brain that I actually heard it yeah. until you pointed it out. Just I, I love his. Then I was like, wait. I, I did love hear that. all the little like. There's so much happening in the background of his like music and songs, and I love it. Oh, I love his voice. What was that? Is that him? Welcome to the other side. Yeah, he said, Welcome to the other side. I think that's the thumbnail actually of this video. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. I swear that is a blueberry monster. I swear that's a blueberry monster. I swear monster. it is. It, like the face, like what else would that? It mean? would make sense if it was a blueberry monster. I mean, I see what you're saying. Like, like I love this like, animation. The is. I mean, I don't want to eat a blueberry that looks like that. <laughs> Same. My thoughts on this. That He's is a creepy the, ass blueberry look monster. At his necklace. Look at he morphed into that though. Yeah, the necklace is the eye. But the image that came before that was a black and white thing, wasn't it? Why does he look scary here? Isn't this Mito? Mito? Why do I keep saying the wrong the name? Mito, right? Mito, yeah. Mito. 
That is a blueberry monster. <laughs> that looks like a You're Slender like, Man. This is what I'm. It's a blueberry monster. Yeah. That is what I'm saying. What I'm sticking with. Freaky looking. That totally works. But hey, like, do your thing. That's. That is so scary. I know, it was just standing I there. <laughs> I know, it's creepy as fuck. <laughs> Wait, so did he dream of, of this thing? Because you said, like, his, a lot of his stuff that are in, in music videos are from, like, dreams he's had before. Mm -hmm. Do you imagine dreaming of that shit? Yeah, I'd, I'd be scary as fuck dreaming of this creepy-ass thing. Hell yeah, that'd be scary. Yuck. Yeah. Yuck. Like, I don't want to dream of Blueberry Monster. <laughs> The song is so good. It's so good, right? <laughs> Ugh. Such a vibe. So my question is, this Ian with this shirt, what really happened? Or is the Ian in the beginning with the hat, with the jacket and the glasses, what's really happening? You know what I'm saying? But also the ice cream is not the same color as it is in the end. Or am I tripping? That looks like vanilla ice cream. The other one looked like, like blueberry blue. ice cream, yeah. Yeah, it does look different. I don't know if there is a significance to that, but I mean, everything, pretty much like literally everything has a meaning in this video, so there could definitely be a significance to that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so. Okay. So you said it was a blueberry monster, right? Which means that it's not a good thing if it's a monster, right? Right. So, how do you interpret this scene? So, it's it's Ian, clearly, it's in this, this creature, right? I need a hostage for you. I need a rocket ship. I need Hold a on. Not that part. Interesting. Oh, maybe his, like, uh, maybe, is it Mito? Maybe Mito took over out of like Why would protection he take in some way. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you got that. Oh, that made me so happy. That was interesting. I didn't catch that the first time you we watched. That's why that I'm paused and I went back. So interesting. Like so, in some ways, like Mito comes out when. Ian's being threatened or something like that or Ian's mind is being threatened in some way to like help when, the, so when you said protection that's that was the keyword yeah Mido is Ian's protector interesting 
he's not but sometimes he's not portrayed as such he's portrayed very dark and scary so i wonder if blueberries are supposed to represent some type of like horrible thing and the ice cream cake is maybe something that's happy for him and blueberries are like tainting that Maybe he doesn't really like blueberries. <laughs> maybe maybe he that's just why. Like blueberries. <laughs> maybe that's why there's like, a guy's blueberry monster. <laughs> maybe that's what turned into the monster. Yeah. I wish I knew what the monster was, and I could confirm that because I, I honestly, I don't know, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. Maybe, oh, maybe, and maybe he's spoken about it before, and I've just missed it. I don't know. Um, but yeah. That was cool. So cool, right? That was and really that's great what, did you, the song again. Even too. like later when he's in the car park. Um, Oh my god, I sound like I'm like British. I called it a car park. Um, <laughs> where he's like, "Welcome to the other side." Do you notice like this whole standoff? It's Mido versus him. Yeah, that's what it's I was. Not that's Ian what I was, versus him. That, wasn't I talking about that? Because I was. Yeah. Or I just said something about him like morphing into. Maybe that's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. But I did notice that he was also like almost in like a standoff with this monster, and this one is like running away from the monster. Yeah. So yeah. And I, and, he, and he's like, "Welcome to the other side," and then, oh, and then yeah. it's Mido. Hello. I wonder what lighting that match is doing. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure what like the significance of that. Once again, I have. I have no. I. I don't know the breakdown of certain things. Um. So like, I. I wonder I, how that match is triggering. I know. Like I wish I knew some of the answers to this. Like I have certain like you know ideas and stuff, but like as certain things, I'm just. I'm not hundred. I'm not 100 percent positive. Yeah. You know. But I love it all. I, I'm so intrigued by it all. Okay, let's move on to welcome to the show. So um, this is, I think, the official introduction of Mido. Like, no one knew that this character's uh, name was Mido prior to this point. Mm -hmm. We have seen the character with the eye, and we've seen the black and white scenes, but that character's never had a name until, like, the official Mido premiere. So that is what this is. This is a um, shortened version of <clears throat> his song, Welcome to the Show, if I'm not wrong. Um, cause this is only, this is less than two minutes long, but the normal song is longer than this. Okay. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and go. You see, you see in the captions, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. The whole, I wonder if they are my memories or if it's his. And he still has like that kind of like cut from like the last video on his nose, and you can see the it says "Who are you?" I know. Oh, I love that. God, he looks so good with eyeliner. I can't even know how to apply eyeliner. Like, I am so <laughs> shit when it comes to makeup. Like, I want to be able to do like a smoky eye but not like not too heavy because i think on my skin tone it wouldn't work but like a brown like a dark brown smoky eye rather than like a black one i i i just want look i'm old as fuck how can i not do that yet like what the <laughs> hell like i'm the worst at makeup and i look at him like fuck he looks so good in his eyeliner why can't my eyes look like that <laughs> i'm so jealous What was that date for? That was because the the new thing had not dropped yet. This was kind of a teaser for it. Teaser for what? Mido. The album. 
Oh, the album. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. I didn't know if, like... I, I didn't know if... I'm pretty sure that was for the album. But, it, but I thought the Mayo album... Anyway, sure. I don't know. I think this was for the first Mido album with the broken mirror inside. I think that's when that was. Because last year, yeah, that's what this was. This is Mido part one. Um, it it was a black album. And when you opened it up, there was an, an actual mirror inside, but it was shattered. <laughs> yeah, because it's seen the different parts of, you know, like oh, you yeah. kind of in a way. Giving everybody bad luck. <laughs> no. Um... But yeah, uh, I, I, that's the one album I don't have. Oh, really? People are fucking like reselling it on like Macari and shit like that for like $500. I'm like, and I miss like someone sold it for like 80 bucks. I'm like, I would have totally paid 80 bucks. I paid, I can't talk. I would have totally paid 80 bucks for that album. Why is it so impossible to find? Because they don't print them anymore. He, like, they was, there was just like a limited number that were printed for this and like they oh, never reprinted them. I see, I see, I see. Um, but yeah, I think he did mention like possibly maybe like re-releasing it, but he doesn't know. But mm. oh, please, please re-release <laughs> it. Oh my god, I want that album because I have the other like the other ones, but like I don't have that one. I want that one so bad. But that's what this this is for the the first Mido album release. Cool. But yeah, so that song, so like I said, was... that's just a snippet of the song. So this is like oh. the introduction of you see like the snippets of like these scenes and stuff like that like and it's and then oh, yeah. it's like who is like who is he and it's like Mido right there right here at the bottom Mido so this is like an introduction to the character as that well as the album that we've been seen this is yeah this is the introduction to giving the character that we have been seeing a name a name and then saying that this is the album that's being released yeah mm, okay mm -hmm. I know so good and it's called Welcome to the Show which is just is so cool. fitting and awesome. Love it. Okay, so I just had to show you that because, I mean, his voice and visuals are amazing in that, so of course you have to see that. So here is Scaredy Cat. So this is, I don't know if this is like the official title track of this album, not 100% sure, but yeah, I think it is because it really released like when the album released, so. Um, so I find this very interesting and i hoping that you pick up on certain things in this MV that I find interesting. So yeah, <laughs> let's go. No pressure. The manhunt, the manhunt continues. Which reports discovering the horrific body. Six years have passed Last by of the rebel diner. Witnesses say the suspect may be missing an eye. Were we just there? Suspect may be missing an eye, and it's like the body is left in the devil's diner. So of course, this whole time you're like, Mido is bad, right? You know what I mean? So it's like, so is Mido good or is Mido bad? Or That's maybe the question. That blueberry monster killed all those people. And, and he's being framed. Right. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so interesting. <laughs> he's so cute. I love him in this video. <laughs> I think I'm scared. The dancer. He's so cute. Wait, can you go back? What the fuck is this? There's a shirt too. It is a shirt. Is um Mido on the loose? <laughs> He's got Ian tied up. <laughs> Who is that? That would be him, wouldn't it? Who? Mido. Yet. Yet. Who is that? Doesn't look like Mido there. But isn't that like just a reflection? Mm hmm. Because if you think about it, right? They're the same person. So it's like he's still there no matter what. Yeah, but, you but this is kind of like showing you who's really in control currently. Uh, Mido. So I'm saying? Because like to the outside eye, the person looks the same. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 
So it's like, unless you know, you may not know. Right. You know? I'm scared. That was adorable. I mean, come on. <laughs> He's adorable. Cutie. Kind of what the mirror looked like in the album. Oh, that shattered look right there. Yeah. So the pills. black and white at the end yeah so what did you get from a lot of those like visual metaphors and stuff that you were seeing hmm in some ways it looks like Ian's a prisoner in his own mind in some ways mm. his own mind um, his own body yeah and hmm that seemed like to be the most ma the main thing yeah. Especially with the song, it seems like he's almost talking about how, like, he's scared of Mido, essentially. I think it's not that he's scared of Mido. It's more like he's scared of, like, losing himself. Because when mm -hmm. he's Mido, he remembers nothing. Mm -hmm. So it's like he feels like there's chunks of his life kind of that are missing. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's kind of like, and, and, and that's why it's like, I feel like I'm disappearing in a hole and nobody will know. You know, type of yeah. thing. Um, because unless you know that that may not happen to be Ian at the moment, like, it looks like it's Ian, um, mm. but Ian's not present. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, I think that, like, that's kind of what that is referencing. And um, there was also a line in there about why does no one lend a hand when I'm, say, I'm drifting away or something like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I think that probably refers back to, um, you know, maybe just people not understanding what he's actually going through. Um, so yeah, I think that's what that's referring to. Um, and he talks about that a little bit in my interview with him as well. So, um, he hits on that just a little bit. Um, uh, and then, um, oh, ADD fucking hell. What was I going to say? I liked a lot of the imagery in here actually. Oh yeah. Um, that's what I was going to say. So I think he's mentioned before about how kind of like when, um, he's no longer him it's almost like you know he's he's been kidnapped mm. so that's why sometimes you'll see kidnapped imagery like mm. we're him being kidnapped and that's kind of like the imagery of like 
someone else has taken control type of thing. Like he's he's been kidnapped type of thing. Oh yeah. Um, which totally makes sense. Um, and then also he has mentioned in the past, and he had mentioned it also in the interview again, that um, Mido's a bit of a diva sometimes. So which kind of totally makes sense to me when I see like him just like on top of the piano, like, singing into the microphone. And it's, like, you know, clearly when you see the reflection, you see that this is Mido on stage, and he's totally eating this up. Right. You know what I mean? Totally, like, performing. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, that that totally, that checks out. <laughs> I feel like you can also see it in the expressions that are being made, too. Mm-hmm. There's, like, a liveliness, in a way, to yeah. Yeah, Mido. Yeah. yeah. When he's not being scary. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's, that's the thing. I was like, sometimes Mido is present, but it won't always be black and white. Yeah. You know, sometimes Mido's present in, in like a different way, in a way. Mm. It just depends on the video. Um, Maybe it depends on what he's there for. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Um, but yeah, so I thought uh, <clears throat> this was a really fun video <clears throat> to kind of show... Um, a different side of the character. Yeah, those moments where person. like he's not him mm-hmm. and like he's... And, and just to kind of him... A, giving a little bit of like insight into like a psyche about like how he feels about those moments where he's not him mm-hmm. you know what I mean like because you know you know like he's he's I think it, and it's also scary I think for him because he doesn't know how long it's gonna last it could last a couple oh, hours yeah. it could last a couple of days like where he's not him and so he literally loses time like from his life you know so that's scary yeah and so that's I think that's you know kind of just this whole thing is kind of an explanation of like I guess how he feels about that in a way like it's scary it is scary because you know he doesn't know what's happening during those moments is he like is he like aware of the person that Mido is um so it, it, he's talked about it a little bit in the past and we also talk about it a little bit in the interview which you need to watch when I when I eventually <laughs> t- pull that uh release that um but he does mention I don't want to really give away too much that he hasn't already spoken about but he has mentioned in the past that um because there are blackouts and he was losing time and he didn't know what was going on they started um filming uh those moments of Mido so that he could understand better who Mido is and learn more about Mido Um, he knows when that's happening though yeah like he can feel like he can feel it coming on uh, which is when he and that's where, where he's um he says in here like um what are some of the lyrics sorry i'm trying to think of some of the lyrics that also kind of explained the what was being shown in so beautiful yeah exactly leave the lights on uh, i'm a scaredy cat and then he says um hold on i'm calling from under my bed um it's hard to breathe in. I find everything a nightmare. Sometimes I know you're okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm sitting in my room alone. Uh, but then he also, what does he say? No one understands when he says, I'm just afraid. Just on one hand. There's another part. Where is it? Uh, I don't know where the lyrics are. But he basically talks about, like, um, basically talks about, like, you know, just, like, leave me alone, like, leave me, I'm, I'm inside, like, like, close all the doors, leave me alone, you know, like, I need to be by myself type of thing, it's kind of like how the lyrics go for in a minute, like, in one part in here, and, um, and that's because, like, in those, like, when he feels it coming, it's like, he tries to make sure that, like, he's not, like, around people who, you know, he could possibly, like, you know, not, like, harm, like, in, like, a physical sense, but just harm, like, possibly in a mental sense is like you know if he says something as or if Mido says something and they think it's Ian they could be like offended by like you know just like or hurt but like why the hell would you say that to me or like you know why would you act this way or whatever you know well, and but it's not um, but it's not it's not Ian it's Mido and so but they may not know that so when he feels that like change coming on he tries to like make sure he's at home you know, and like you know he, he locks the doors and so you know, they, they cut the Wi-Fi. They make sure that, like, he can't go online and, you know, stuff like that. So, Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out, like, does he, does, does Ian know what kind of person Mido is fully? Well, like I said, he didn't in the beginning, but his team started documenting kind of that side of him so that they and him could learn more about himself. Uh, okay. um, so, yeah, because 
he doesn't he doesn't remember anything that happens during those times. All he's left with is the remnants of, you know, like the aftermath. The aftermath, whether it's you know, creation songs, you know, whether it's you know, art. I guess I um, just like wonder, like, is Mido maybe some type of extension of who In really is? I mean, in some ways, I don't know because. Mido is uh, so DAD like Mido is like a separate person like but just that occupies the same body basically but separate yeah. thoughts separate memories separate person um mm. so I wouldn't say necessarily that he's an extension of Ian mm, yeah, yeah, um yeah. he is like a separate like persona completely that's terrible. um but that's but he is there to you know you know ultimately he's there for a reason for sure but also interesting that he like in the new no blue braids video where he came out like in a protective way mm-hmm. it's so interesting mm-hmm. yeah yeah wow. it is it is very interesting very complex <laughs> so complex yeah i love and i just love the way he shows the, the shows this stuff to us yeah for us to try to like understand like what's going on hmm. i know I'm intrigued. I, tell me about <laughs> like, it. It's just so interesting. Yeah. I, it, and I think, here's the thing. It's like interesting in like a, it's interesting in a way that he doesn't really know and fully understand it himself. 100%, yeah. So to be watching him kind of put this in an artistic format to explain what he thinks and what he feels. Mm-hmm when it also cannot be 100% mm-hmm. is really kind of fascinating. He's kind of like learning about himself as as, as he goes as well, in, in a sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, uh, wow. What was I going to say? Shit. ADD, man. <laughs> Fuck. What was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say. Um... Yeah, I don't know what the hell I was going to say, so I guess that's just, that's the end of this. Um, that sucks. I feel like it was kind of, like, you know, important, but it's no big deal. If I remember it later, I'll mention it later. Um, so, yeah, so, oh, that's, uh, I remember what I was going to say. I remembered. Um, so, here's the thing. Obviously, this is very fascinating and intriguing, right? But it's, like, for me, like, there's, there's, other than it, I'm being like, ooh, that's intriguing, that's fascinating. That's obviously one whole aspect of it. The second aspect of it is the fact that um, I'm there's the, the music aspect of it. Like this is like the music is really good. Oh yeah. Like the vocals are really good. The production oh, yes. is really good. Like yeah. so you have even without the storyline aspect, you just have good fucking music. Yep. Okay, so there's that. I was up here tapping my feet to scare the cat. Yeah, so you have just like great fucking music. And then you have ooh, this is intriguing. And then you have the mesh of the two and then on top of it you learn this is very real to him. Mm-hmm. And then you're like Wow. Like, and that is the, I think, the magic that makes everything be so amazing. I agree. Because, like, you have a great story. You have an amazing, amazing songs. Together, they're a great, you know, MV. But then you add the real aspect into it, and you're just like, wow. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what really makes me want to know more. It draws me in. I agree with that. Yeah. I kind of mentioned something similar to him, uh, but yeah. I agree. Yeah. So cool. Ah, oh, so fucking cool. Yeah. Anyway, I need to shut up. Okay, uh, we're going to go. Uh, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please do not reveal anything to RJ that is not to be revealed yet, based on where we're at in kind of the storyline progression of things. Um, but if I have missed um, any important information from these MVs or the last two that we did in part one, please, please, please comment that down below. I'd very much appreciate that. And yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, we're going to move on to Mido Movie Part 1 next. Holy shit, I can't wait to show him this. Oh, my God. Okay, we need to go. Love you guys so much. Uh, Please, please, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.